Dear vice chancellor, dear dean, dear friends, dear colleagues, dear students, if I see any. Uh, this is a, a, an educational task and uh, the learning goal will be, I hope everybody will understand that program cell death is very important for, for life. And life is, uh, is this incredible diversity of uh, different types of living organisms. And what is in common for all of them is that uh, they are made of different uh, types of cells. Right, and uh, cells can look very, very different, although they have the same set of DNA, so it's RNA and proteins which make them so different. And uh, there are four major uh, processes what cells can do in our body. They can proliferate or divide, so you can get many cells from one cell. They can specialize, so this cell, this red cell, become different from the, from the uh, sur sur surrounding cells. Of course, cells interact, and this also affects their functions. Uh, animal cells, not plant cells, but animal cells, they can also move to a new position, and by this way they can also attend a new function. But uh, there is a fifth process, which is always very, very, very important for uh, organismal development. It is cell death. So cells, cells can die. And uh, in animal biology, uh, program cell death is essential for sculpting embryonic body. And uh, the textbook example is formation of interdigital spaces during mammalian embryo development. So you see, actually, then the organism can can catch things, right? It's also deleting structures, and uh, one textbook example is elimination of tail upon tadpole to frog transition. It's also adjusting cell number to the amount of growth factors. If uh, the amount of growth factors is reduced, uh, the number of cells is reduced proportionally. And also elimination of damaged cells from the organism. If the cells are not eliminated, this normally causes cancer, the best, the best uh, known outcome. And while we are sitting here, every second, believe me, uh, 10 power of 5 cells die in your body. And the same number is produced upon uh, cell division. And this is a basis of so-called homeostasis. This is when we are healthy. Too much or too little cell death uh, causes different diseases. And the best known examples when we have too much cell death is neurodegeneration, Immunod Im immunodeficiency and infertility. If vice versa, we have too little cell death, it is a major cause of cancer. Fiction. Fiction uh, often uh, helps to, to explain science. Uh, there are different ways to die. The way uh, on the right is a programmed way, and the, the way shown to the left is unprogrammed. Uh, indeed, in this, in this case, uh, the artist and my former colleague, Lada Filonova, she uh, compares cell with this beautiful lady. And on the scenario to the left, you can see that lady didn't want and didn't expect uh, to be killed, so this is a murder. And this is something compared to type of cell death which is called necrosis, when cells die by accident. For example, when you burn your skin, billions of cells will die in a, in a moment without activating any kind of uh, uh, genetic machinery. On the scenario to the right, you see this lady, she realizes that perhaps good 
death is better than bad life, and she commits suicide. So she takes active part in her own death. She takes a gun, uh, she, uh, she releases... Uh, uh, she, 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 she raises cock and uh, releases a uh, trigger. She even writes a will. So she controls each and every step of her own death. And this is akin programmed cell death, which is controlled by genes and proteins. And if you look under the microscope, these two major types of cell death, necrosis and uh, um, so-called apoptosis, which is the best type, the, the, the best understood type of animal cell death, they, they look like this. So during necrosis, the cell swells and bursts in a second, releasing uh, cellular contents, which cause inflammatory response. Uh, during apoptosis, cell shrinks and breaks down into so-called apoptotic bodies, which are further engulfed by phagocytic cells. So uh, there is no garbage left, and this suppresses inflammation. And this is how apoptosis look like under, under the microscope. This is a death of human white blood cell. You see that cell breaks down into pieces, this is cell cultured in vitro, in, uh, in a culture medium, and if it was in the body, then it would have been engulfed by phagocyte. Next. Uh, so far I spoke mainly about, about animals, but animals is just a, a small branch on the tree of life. There is a, there is a variety of other organisms, bacteria, protozoa and plants, of course. And believe me that program cell death, the abbreviation is PCD, is evolutionarily concerned phenomenon. There are very many good reasons for, for unicellular organisms like yeast to die. You know that program cell death is essential for animal development and, it under and uh, the dysregulation of cell death underlies various diseases, but believe me that Plant life is full of program cell death. There are, there are very many, uh, there are much more examples of program cell death in plant life compared to, to animal development. And just a few examples which are already in textbooks to illustrate it. It's defense. You know, when plant is attacked, it forms these kind of lesions, and lesions are actually dead cells. So these lesions, they protect plant from uh, invasion of pathogen, from, 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 from further invasion of a pathogen. It's embryogenesis, and you will see that one part of the embryo is eliminated in a couple of slides. Uh, nutrient mobilization in seeds is a dramatic manifestation of program cell death. If, if you look at the seed, this is a maize seed. It contains small living embryo, and large tissue, which is called endosperm. And endosperm is made of cell corpses filled with nutrients, which are used by this small embryo for germination. Very elegant. So it's a kind of post-mortem life of cells. In animals, their cells are eliminated, but plants keep them to fulfill essential functions, like in this case. Reproductive development, a lot of cell death going on during sex. I will not stop on it. Vascular differentiation is, is another dramatic manifestation of program cell death. Wood is made of cell corpses. These are kind of uh, empty walled tubes to conduct nutrients. A lot of cell death going on under the ground to renew root system. Old roots are dying, new, new roots are forming. Leaf shaping and senescence. When I just came to this field in late 90s, when very little was known about program cell death in plants, we set bar very high. So the goal and task of, of, of my lab was to understand how does particular gene and protein act in the pathway leading to cell death under normal physiological conditions. 
right? So we wanted to know genes and proteins. We wanted to put them together into the pathway. And, uh, and we wanted to study this process under normal physiological conditions. So we obviously needed a model system. Right? There is a variety of model systems used in biology. And people are also model systems, but somehow they prefer to use other organisms. So we needed a model system. At that time, we were all fascinated by studies carried out in this tiny worm called C. elegans. And that uh, work was awarded by Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2002 for discovery of the first set of genes regulating uh, program cell death in animals. And uh, what is remarkable with this, with this tiny one millimeter long worm is that the entire cell lineage was constructed. So, so it was possible to go back and forth to ancestors and to descendants of the cells. And it was also known that the cell lineage generates 1,090 cells, but mature worm has only 959 cells. What does it mean? It means that 131 cells, not 130, not 132, but exactly this number undergoes program cell death. I want to show these guys who got Nobel Prize, Sidney Brenner, Robert Horvitz, John Salston. This is a role play for, for academic leaders because this is a, one of the best illustrations of succession of research schools because Bob Horvitz was a postdoc with Sidney Brenner and John Salston, although he, he looks older than him, he was a PhD student with Bob Horvitz. And later on, John Salston became a director of Human Genome Sequencing Project. So these guys got a Nobel Prize for their discovery concerning genetic regulation of organ development and program cell death using this miserable worm. So we asked the question, does formation of plant embryo, which is composed of many more cells, also implicate program cell death? And the answer is yes. Uh, you perhaps know this name of the plant, Arabidopsis. This is a plant with a, with, a, with a first sequence genome, which is often used by plant biologists to study gene function in, in plants. So this is a kind of textbook uh, plant uh, whose development is very well understood. And if you look at uh, embryo development in Arabidopsis, you will see that zygote divides asymmetrically uh, to produce two cells, apical cell and basal cells. And these cells are progenitors of two cell lineages with contrasting developmental fates. Apical cell develops to embryo proper and then to plant, while the basal cell undergoes a few cell divisions to form this file of seven to eight cells, which is called suspensor. And suspensor just functions like umbilical cord in mammals. So you know that we are connected to our mother, right? So it is a conduit of growth factors to develop an embryo, but it is not required at later stages of development and therefore it is eliminated. So elimination of embryo suspensor is the earliest manifestation of program cell death in plant life. We decided to study this um, as a model system but we realized that cells are tiny and they're situated deep inside seed. So this has not become our C. elegans. But Norway spruce, Gran Posvenska, it has. It has. And uh, I just placed them. This is Arabidopsis embryo and this is a spruce embryo. They are in scale, so they look like mouse and elephant, right? So it's much easier to study this organism, right? Again, it is composed of living part, which develops to mature embryo, and then to Christmas tree, all right? And finally to this one. And this personifies importance of program cell death, because believe me, this is a take-home take -home message for you, that this living organism is composed of 99% of its cells are cell corpses. So this trunk is made of cell corpses. Amazing. 
It's not something what we see in animals. And it has a colossal several layers, uh, several cell layers long uh, suspensor. The way how suspensor is made provides fantastic opportunities to study program cell death. It is produced through asymmetric cell divisions within these living cells. One daughter cell retains meristematic identity and it remains, sorry, it, it remains within the living part while its, its sister cell is added to the first layer of suspender. And these asymmetric cell divisions, they occur every 24 hours. So every 24 hours a new cell layer is added. So we can set death clock for these cells, which will begin ticking and produce all the stages of programmed cell death along this axis, from cells committed to death to empty walled cell corpses. You see that there are growing so-called vacuoles, which engulf cell from inside. And of course, this, this way of cell death does not look like apoptosis, right? Because uh, there is a rigid cell wall, so cell cannot break down into pieces, right? And there are no macrophages in animals. So cell eats itself from its inside using lytic vacuoles. Let's continue with this uh, ambition. How does particular gene protein act in the pathway? So we had enhanced wonderful model system and we then dove into, into cell and, and the molecular biology to understand regulation. Don't try even to, uh, to figure out what is here. This is a pathway of programmed cell death in animals. And this is a very primitive way to show if, if, if you would draw a complete picture, if it, will, it would look like, um, um, uh, like a map of uh, Tokyo subway, something like that, really. Believe me, believe me. Uh, so this is what has been known before, before we started. Uh, to investigate in, in the plants. So plants were much less understood in terms of regulation of programmed cell death. Just remember these guys, they're called caspases. And caspases are proteases. Proteases, it's a class of enzyme which cut other proteins. And in this case, uh, many proteins are cut by caspases to inactivate them. Okay. So uh, when we looked, uh, if you look at the genomes, you will see that uh, genes, cell death genes, are conserved from C. elegans to man, and that was the reason why to give a Nobel Prize, because it, it has become possible to cure cancer and neurodegenerative diseases. If you look at plants, there are no these guys. So death genes are not conserved between plants and animals, and also there are no caspases. But there was a class of enzyme called metacaspases, and my laboratory discovered the function of metacaspases in plant biology. We inactivated Norway spruce metacaspase, and the mutant looked like this. No embryos at all. Later, we have found that in these mutants, the death style is switched from programmed cell death to necrosis, which is not sufficient for development. Now we know much more about this. And uh, discovery of Mitica space whetted our appetite for more. What does it mean? That uh, my uh, students, my postdocs, they started their own line of researches af uh, after, after discovery of Mitica space. And it turned out that this process, which is called autophagy, is essential for plant aging and fitness. And uh, Alena Minina and uh, later Katarina uh, Cardoza uh, they're on this track of research. Uh, I said that medical space is a protease, so it cleaves other proteins. It cleaves protein named TSN, and Emilio Gutierrez Beltran has started a very viable line of research on RNA degradation under stress. Another target of medical space is separase, which Panos discovered that it controls uh, cell polarity. Let's dot I's and cross T's. Some take home messages. Cell death is an evolutionary conserved process with a critical role in development, health, and disease. You also learn that there are different ways for cells to die. Plant cells never die by apoptosis. 
for very good reasons. I want to give a tribute to spruce embryos. I place them together with Seligans, although perhaps they never met each other in real life. They have fantastic, fantastic advantages. They are powerful model systems for cell death research. I would love to thank my pride and joy, my, my lab members. That was a, a flash uh, done uh, several months ago. Everybody is here except for Shershin Dalman. She is somewhere around. I also want to thank my alumni from previous years. This network of PIs I am collaborating, it's uh, transcontinental. I also would love to thank funding bodies, finally you, and um, there are many ways to die. Enjoy. Thank you very much. <laughs>